pedophilia is bad. Can I say that? Because this is a pedophilia. It's horrible. It's alleged, it's though. There wasn't anything pr- proven about that. There, okay, it's the worst. The inclination of it is terrible, too. There, yep. Whatever. Who cares? Uh, what about him? What do I know? So he got arrested again. When's he going to get rehired? Probably not if that's on his record. Plus, he has a lot of demons in the closet. <laughs> Listen, we're going, we're going pro and down memory lane. Uh, speaking of EC3 uh, working uh, for for the company, uh, you all you work with the guy named the Velveteen Dream. Oh, jeez, this yeah. is so whatever. Um, yeah, what do you do now? Well, he got arrested uh, twice in one week, unfortunately. Well, third time's a charm. What do you get arrested for? Uh, the previous uh, one, the latest one was drug paraphernalia. Um, they, they found. Is it true? Because what somebody told me is that he got pulled over and a cop came to the window and he just blew a line of cocaine right in the cop's face. Is that is that what I'm hearing? That is that is rumor. That is. That but when is do you think when, when, when you think yes. his uh, when do you think his rehire date will be at the WWE? All right, let, let's take pre- let, let, Chris. What do you predict? I say by January he'll be he'll be rehired by the WWE. What do you say? September, uh, probably the Raw after Mania. The Raw after Mania. <laughs> what a what a vast disappointment of such high potential um yeah good yeah here's the right. thing what did he get released for because i believe there was something well he got blacklisted because of the tweet Say it. like that the yeah what? The what? there was a tweet or a t- ig or a tweet or something like that about uh you know, him with some other guy who said boy? Yeah. yeah yeah okay so here's the thing for old cancel ec3 for all these idiots on the internet who make things up and think they know a thing about me or who i am or what i believe or what i do or what i'm about yeah like pedophilia is bad can i say that because this is a pedophilia. it's horrible it's alleged it's though there wasn't anything pr- proven about that though. There, okay it's the worst the inclination of it is terrible too there, yeah. whatever who cares uh, what about him? What do I know? So he got arrested again. When's he going to get rehired? Probably not if that's on his record. Plus, he has a lot of demons in the closet. Oh, what do you mean? Glad. I'm glad he asked. Why not? Because uh, in NXT, there was always, you know, some speculation about him being a little bit off. But, you know, you welcome that and you could be friends. And we had a party and it was at my place. And, you know, he came over because I'm being friendly and I'm, you know, top guy and I try to welcome everybody into a thing and he uh, left his phone in my bathroom with the camera on trying to capture people taking pisses. So there. <laughs> what? Yeah. Wait, 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 hold on. I'm, I'm very, I'm very concerned with Raj. Wait a minute. I'm very concerned with Raju watching this show, right? I can't. I got Raju stuck in my head. Chris, oh no, man! Bring it. Are we okay with Raju? Chris, I'm very concerned. Man, you know, hey, look, that 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 draw some people. Wait a minute. Now, how did? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, how did you know he didn't accidentally leave the phone in the toilet? Because I, as genius Vince, I'm a master of psychology of human mind, body, spirit, and soul. So how did I know? Because it's my bathroom. And I walk in there and I see a phone selfie style propped up uh, on filming where if somebody is going to take a pee, they would have their phallus out. <laughs> Urinating into the water. Fly. Fallis ain't gonna fly. Fallis ain't gonna fly with Raju. Fallis ain't gonna yeah. fly with Raju. Yeah. Well, Fallis isn't gonna pee-pee. get his thing. So hey, Fallis works. P-P-O, P-P-O, wee-wee. P-P-O, wee-wee. Fallis works. Fallis works. I'm sorry. Yeah. Am I a child? That's a <laughs> say wee-wee. I, I feel more comfortable if you say wee-wee. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. There you go. So <laughs> it, it, would fill, it was set up perfectly to film wee-wees and pee-pees. And Fallis. Like <laughs> Leaning like against this. like the back of the bowl, like the back, you're looking right at it. Right at it. No, like, well, the soap dispenser. So it's to the right a little bit. And yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. angled a bit. Yeah. I'm not going to lie to you, too. This was a late evening of partying. So maybe there were a few cocktails shared. Who knows what everyone else was on? Because as we know, <laughs> he just, he'll do in front of a cop. Lord only knows what he'd do behind a cop's Did back. Did you confront so- him? Did you confront him? 
here's the thing. Let's get there. So I'm like, what is going on? Am I tripping? I shouldn't be because I don't do drugs that would trip me out. So I'm like, this is actually happening. So what I did was I took the phone. I stopped the recording. I made sure the PP video of my wee wee was deleted Very nice. because that was happening in my, in my home, by the way. So delete, put it back, turn it back on. So it didn't look like somebody, you know, so it looked like the, the it was still happening. Ha you right. know, the big elaborate ruse. I walk out of my own bathroom because this is where I live. And I sit on the couch and I go, and I wait. And he goes right back to the bathroom. And I go back in right after that. Phone's gone. I'm like, I can't believe this. But oh. now here's the problem. Here's the problem. Unnamed talents that I will not name in this moment in time, we're probably doing other things in that bathroom. So instead of a blatant confrontation, I just say, everybody get out. I'm going to bed. Go get out. Good get for out. you, bro, because you 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 could have been the one left holding the bag and have gotten yes. in trouble because it was your place, bro. Absolutely. Holy yeah. macro, man. Come on. So they, they get gone and then select people that were there. I informed of what happened. As I was informing them, that was where I would therefore be confronting on my next step because I wanted them to know first before. And like, what do you do with something like this? You can't t I'm an adult male who's been, you know, violating his own home in a sense that there's people and who knows what else is going on. These guys need to know. Well, one of them still his buddy tells them this. Now it's like a dramatic thing where someone's like blaming me for recording my yeah, soul, man, man. It's like, and I'm like, you know what? Whatever. Like, this is ridiculous. But guess what? I'm a professional, right? I'm a professional. So I go to be a professional and we have a mini feud and goes into a Brooklyn takeover where as a professional, you give your body to your opponent. You protect your opponent, even if you don't like him, even if you despise him, even if you record him peeing. So... What happened to that match? Concussed. Three minutes into it. Don't remember a thing about it. There it is. There it wow. is. Wow. Story. You got your money's worth today. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. That was a lot, so, man. I mean, man. By then, like. Chris, we're not used to these. these bombshells, bro. Bombshells. I love it. The, the <laughs> journalist in me is saying, ooh, tell me more. Oh, <laughs> You know, it's not it's something funny. I'm like go around complaining about or this happened to me because like that is okay okay we could have done way better but at the same time i'm a professional who was knocked unconscious for the entirety of it look at my face after that match watch that match and look at my face the worst concussion i've ever had mm. come back from that three to four weeks later i get concussed again i'm out for a while i have like really bad life I'm talking really bad. Like mm -hmm. what changed my life was that secondary concussion. And that was on the call up, I'm sorry, to the main roster. No, I got concussed again four weeks later. Then I get called up with the concussion. Why are you calling me up with a concussion? You know, I'm, I'm injured, right? Yeah, you know, you'll be fine by the time it de you debut. Like, I don't feel prepared because I'm concussed and then get concussed again on the main roster. Who cares? Let's spill the beans. Get concussed again on the main roster after the worst run of all time. Yeah, that's what changed my life. That's what made me the, the darkest and deepest. Bro, I think it would. I think I think it would have been much more easier for you to just go along with the PP pee -pee phone. I think you yeah. should have. If you would have just went along with the PP pee -pee phone, none, none of the rest would have happened, bro. Here's the thing with you. I got a I got a sweet rig, so. Real, you see, bro, that, yeah, well. Yeah, right. another thing you can tell to the guy in uh, UK, my rig is way sweeter than yours. And is that, is that going to be okay for Raju, rig talk? Yes. yes okay, okay. I get very nervous with Raju. Bro. <laughs> very nervous. <laughs>